Joining us now in a CNBC exclusive is the company's CEO, Steve McMillan. He was also recently elected non-executive chair of Illumina's board of directors. Uh, Steve, it's good to have you this morning. And I mentioned COVID there. I know it was uh, uh, one of the things you discussed on the call as well. You obviously were a great beneficiary, given your leading PCR. You're a leading uh, role in terms of uh, uh, COVID-19 testing assays. What are your expectations now for the company given the endemic phase, so to speak, of the virus? Yeah, David, I think when we came into the pandemic, our goals were simple. One, take care of our employees. Then quickly, we toggled and became one of the largest producers in the world of COVID tests when the world needed us. That generated, obviously, tremendous revenues as well as profits. But we said all through that, our real goal was to emerge as a much stronger company on the other end. And what you have right now is that COVID profit and revenues are rolling off. But sure enough, what you're seeing is the strengthening of the underlying business. So we just reported 18.4 percent organic growth. Now, to the question on the stock right now, this is the analysts really recognizing that as you look to 2024, that extra COVID revenue and profits is going to really be basically done at this point unless there's another surge. And we're fine with that. Right. Now, one of the keys, of course, is you also brought in a lot of revenues and profits. And so you have, what, two point eight billion in cash. How are you allocating capital at this point, given the loss of, so to speak, revenues from what uh, from what testing had been and sort of positioning the company for future growth? Yeah, we're certainly getting that question because our balance sheet is so strong. And I think our key word here is patience that because we've fundamentally strengthened the underlying growth of the company, and we do have a very healthy margin structure, we want to be very careful and we're patient to use that cash. We still think they'll be buying opportunities at the appropriate point. We've done a number of deals, tuck in acquisitions that are accelerating our growth. Frankly, we've boosted our R&D spend. But at the end of the day, what I've always learned is when you have a healthy company, then you can afford to be patient with that cash. I know there are some people who want us to go out and do a big deal or use that cash. We're quite happy. One of the things we have been doing is buying back our own shares because we think that that's a great investment in something we know very well. Steve, David at the top mentioned your role now at Illumina. Um, Illumina is is a company that wants to move uh, into the clinical side of the business versus research. You're a diagnostics company. I'm wondering if there are synergies that we should start thinking about in terms of the two sort of combining forces? You know, I would not expect any synergies between the two companies. I think these are independent roles. The companies do have to be five minutes from each other, which is very convenient <laughs> for me, particularly from a timing standpoint. But I think we're, you know, kind of in adjacent areas, but my appointment on both companies should not be construed as as bringing them together in any ways that we wouldn't otherwise uh, potentially do, but uh, nothing, nothing there. Um, OBGYN surgeries uh, seem to be fairly resurgent, um, at least for this last reported quarter. You were a beneficiary of that. Is that something you expect to continue or is it some sort of a, you know, kind of a, a surge that is, is going to die down because perhaps people were not getting things done during the pandemic? David, there's certainly a little bit of catch up, I think, in procedural volume. But fundamentally, we keep growing these markets, things like fibroids that continue to be under uh, under diagnosed in women and under treated in women. So we've got this magical formula, certainly within our surgical business right now, of both organic innovation combined with a couple of really nice tuck in deals that we did during covid that are accelerating our growth rate in that business and really turning it into almost a a low double digit grower here for quite a period of time.